Hi YouTube, how's it going? Um, welcome back to Slim Win Reacts. Today we're going for uh, the best of Ko Chang beaches and resort in brackets Elephant Island. Um, I wrote down some things about Ko Chang before we started this because on a previous video I done, which was ten best places in Thailand to see, um, you could s the first place that came up on number ten was Ko Chang. So. Hopefully, if I put a little map up at the same time, you can see where Ko Chang is. It's the third largest island in Thailand. Uh, it's got several waterfalls, coral reefs. It's a growing tourist island, um, but not as busy as Phuket or Pattaya, um, which is a little more res resorts and a little more tourist-like where beaches are a bit more busier. But um, no, this looked an awesome place to check out and uh, yeah, let's jump right into it and apologies because we are about to see paradise again. I'm sure it'll be a lot of the beaches on the island. Um, but again, it should get me excited anyway to want to go to a quieter place with those paradise beaches. Especially, I, I've been to Koh Panyang. Apologies if I get the names wrong. And Koh Ta. Um, have I been to any other? And the PP Islands I've done. Um, very busy beaches, but again, for obvious reasons, you know, um, they're so stunning, clean, popular. Um, yeah, so I understand that reasons, but Ko Chang appeals to me because it does look a little more quieter being down south. So let's, let's have a go. I hope I was able to edit a little map just so you understand where it's to instead of me trying to point and guess. <laughs> So many um, locals will walk the beach, in, especially in Phuket, um, sending you from sunglasses to drinks <laughs> to watermelon, fruit. So you don't have to go run into the shops all the time that if there's something you're in need of like that, you'll be able to find them. Is that part of like Elephant Rides or is that a local? Please comment if you know. Straight away that appealed to me that road for riding bikes or renting a car. by the beach. It's definitely a lot quieter. Even you don't even have to ride a bike, I'd love just to stroll down those roads as much as you guys I'm sure. My spa, it's in chain. Check that place out. Stunning. It's like a scene from the beach, isn't it? The film The Beach. If you haven't watched it, check it out. Great film. Um, but um, yeah, you can stay at these places, these beach resorts, these beach huts, right by the beach. Brilliant. I guess it's 
a local pet monkey. Don't know why it's got a lead on it. Now you've got a swimming pool there, then looking out onto the beach. The <laughs> best of both worlds, you know. So, if you're going as a family or if you're going for more of a holiday, then say backpacking. For sure you'd want to book your hotel or find your spot as you land but for me when i've gone backpacking i i prefer to book um the hostel or the hotel where i first land maybe even if i've got a plan where i'll go after a couple of days from there maybe book again but then i tend to just use tripadvisor um is it uh, if i get this wrong i'll put a link in is it hostel bookings um, hostel world something like that on Google if you type it in it will come up and you'll be able to read reviews you'll be able to see where people have been but also you will see the availability as well at hostels especially in hotels um, and I'd, I'd book maybe a day before I leave the first place I go to then I'll book I'll go to that place spend however long I want there if I feel like I need to spend more time there I can I'll book again um, but yeah, so I wouldn't, I'm not the sort of person, as much as it is good to plan and learn and see what to do, I am the sort of person when it comes to booking places to uh, to have a look online when I'm there, a couple of days, a day before I go, and yeah, it's just how I, how I do it really, instead of having an itinerary of, oh, I've got to be at that hotel, what if I enjoyed Bangkok more than I thought I would and the two days or three days I had in Bangkok I wanted to spend another night there just freeze up a bit you know but each to their own but if you're planning to just come down to Koh Chang for a holiday then yeah sure you looks like you've got some great choices to if anything from that hotel where it had the swimming pool onto the beach it's just simple isn't it nothing's a problem <laughs> That water is so clear. Our beaches to water don't go like that in England. It's a but we have nice beaches in Devon, where I'm from in England. Um, bands like Coldplay. Robbie Williams have filmed on them. Good for surfing. But this is different, this is like. It's got crystal clear water, it's calm. Coral reefs. These are swimmers now. Ah, oh, cool. So, looks like they're getting a ferry to the fishing village. Wow. It's cool. <laughs>
of these buildings and the colours they've got of them. It'd be so cool. I always, whenever you see a balcony like that, it's like, oh, I wonder what the view's like up the top. Is that a bar? Might be a bar, it looks like. It's cool, though. It's so chilled, isn't it? wonder if it comes alive at night, if there's like a party side to it. Room for rent. <laughs> I wonder if the Thai locals just wonder why the holiday makers just love to sunbathe all the time. <laughs> For them it might be just normal with the beach and location and that, you know, but for us it's paradise. <laughs> you could imagine this music to the video just playing in the background as you're sat on the beach. It's cool. Oh, here we go, night time. Is this like a place for the street food then? video again like I think we all got a good idea of uh, what we're seeing there of paradise beaches so I'm going to see a bit more of the waterfalls I think uh, but to be fair from the title best of Ko Chang beaches and resort so they showed us the best of the beaches and resorts for sure um, but I definitely like to find another video delve into it a bit more um, I thought that we might have seen a bit more of like if there was an elephant treks or a place to see the elephants an elephant sanctuary um, but yeah again a nice video of paradise definitely know a little bit more about Ko Chang um, but would like to see a bit more as well um, definitely on my place of places to see when I go there for sure um, when I arrive in Bangkok, I think I might head down to Pattaya, which I haven't been to before, and then Ko Chang. Um, I think that'd be a nice little route. And then be nice to find another place back up to, to work my way back up to Bangkok um, to get a flight to up north or another destination. <laughs> I've done the night buses before. I've done a night bus from Bangkok up to Chiang Mai, I think it's 10 or 12 hours. It was hard work. <laughs> it was hard work. Um, and I'm not getting any younger. But like, uh, so yeah, I am favoured for the fl internal flights now if I can. But yeah, paradise, what more can I say? Beautiful, stunning, water amazing. Um, I'm hoping when I done some of the snorkeling and that, it would be as easy as when I was in Koh Panyang and Koh Ta. Again, apologies for my names if I get the sayings wrong in that, um, of the places. But yeah, I like the idea of where you just wade into the water, you're four or five foot up in the water, and then you can go snorkeling. Um, yeah, that's what I'm aiming for. That would be a real gem to find that place as, again. I will re experience that again of snorkeling. Um, I've kept marine salt water tanks since I was little, but uh, it was first real experience seeing the corals, seeing the fish in the wild, how they should be. And um, yeah, why need a aquarium if you can 
make your trip and go snorkeling and see it where it should be. Um, but yeah, all in all, another good video and I'll leave you guys to it. Thank you.